Well, hey everybody, I'm Bill. And I'm Elizabeth with Tiny House Prepper. And this is our second day in Banff, Banff National Park. And behind us is the fabulous Lake Louise. Yes. We've seen other people here and we just had to come. Yeah, it's, 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 it's mind boggling. Yeah, and look at the color of that water. It's yep. all glacier water. Yep. It is beautiful. Here. Absolutely incredible. I'm glad you had to come along with us. Yep, absolutely. Tiny house, prepper. Live simple, live free. Now this, this is the mountainside of our hotel. Remember we told you that our room isn't on the mountainside? <laughs> this is why. And oh, and we're so grateful that the, the sky has cleared. Uh, there's only a little bit of clouds up there. This is staggering. Absolutely staggering. This is what we see walking out of the door of the hotel. Okay, I don't know how much more completely gorgeous I am gonna be able to handle. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. I know I keep saying that, but it just, it's unreal how beautiful it is. They're so jagged and so steep. Now we've got a lot of fencing right along the road here. And um, now up ahead we have this really charming, like grass covered overpass with these little hobbit-like tunnels under. We're pretty sure that's a safe place for the elk, the deer, you know, the deer, the moose to cross over. So it's it's for all of the, the animals to be able to safely cross over the highway. And so they don't easily get onto the highway to get hit and they got a way to get to the other side. Pretty cool, I like it. Now Lake Louise in Banff National Park one of the most famous shots in the park and as we are driving it's about I think it was 57 kilometers away from our hotel in Canmore so it's about an hour away it's like 35 miles or something and all of this incredible beauty that you've been seeing here is just things that we saw along the highway on the way to Lake Louise absolutely amazing beauty everywhere but now we're approaching Lake Louise and we're excited about it So if you're going to come to Lake Louise, make sure you get here early. Uh, it's about 1130. Everything is full. They wanted us to get down uh, to the lower shuttle parking lot and take a shuttle up. But because they found out that Elizabeth had, you know, balance issues and difficulty walking, they sent us up here and found a spot for us. But otherwise, you've got to take a shuttle if you don't get here before about 930 or 10 in the morning. <laughs> Oh. 
is beautiful. Oh. Oh. <laughs> There's the lake. I don't know what the name of the hotel is, but we'll find out. It's gorgeous and really expensive, and I can see why. <laughs> oh, look at the color of that water. I'm going to be here for so long. That's snow up there. Like that's glaciers up there. Yeah, and the clouds laughing. are covering the very yeah, top on right our now. Side, everybody was like laughing. Like, oh yeah, the clouds are covering a little bit of the top, but you can still see how dramatic and wonderful they are. Oh my goodness. There are some big, thick glaciers up there. Wow. You can only see the top through the little bit of clouds now. Hey. <laughs> Hi. I made it down here. <laughs> Nothing will stop my adventures. Nothing. I'm also realizing what incredible views people must have from those hotel windows. <laughs> I'm enjoying hearing all the different languages here. There's people from all over the place. Yep. It's pretty neat. So, grateful that I've got this walker, so if I need to stop and sit, I can. But I'm not going to uh, stop until I get to see as much of this as I can. <laughs> so, we're gonna go see, uh, around where you can see a really good like front view of that hotel. So, we've watched um, Keep Your Daydream. We've watched Let's Junk More Journey. In the same place, yep, place. Yep. We kind of, kind of feel like we're part of a pretty cool club. <laughs> <laughs> Those beautiful yellow trees back there, that just reminds us of aspens. Um, we're wondering if they are, just turning that beautiful yellow, mixing in with all the evergreens. Gosh, that just brings back incredible memories. I love fall um, in the Rockies because the aspens are so golden and the trees are so dark green. Pretty cool. I'm glad we're here this time of year. incredible turquoise color of this glacier water and here it is late September the snow hasn't really started for the season and there's the glacier
more buildings behind it. So if you watched our last video, you know we said at the end of the video that in the next video we were hoping to take a boat cruise of Lake Louise. Well, this is Lake Louise and there's no boat cruise here. There is a boat cruise and it's on a different lake and that's where we're headed now. This is one of the boats we're going to be going on. So it looks like this will be our boat right here, I guess. Yep. Yeah. The captain's really nice. They said that the water of this lake, Minnewonka, is emerald, and you know what? It really is. It's a beautiful green. This collapses really easily. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I actually just unbelieve it. I'm collapsing anyway. Just, we got a lot of space. Do I take it in or? Uh, I can get up there. Yeah, would that be okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's perfect. Right there. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh goodness, this is all beautiful. Uh, how about just here? Okay. <laughs> There's another one of the tour boats coming in just as we're getting ready to leave. The captain has started the boat and looks like we're going to be going pretty, good, pretty soon here. Talking to him, he's a really nice young man. Kenji, I'm going to be your guide on this cruise at the captain, uh, like in a captain seat, at the helm, the captain Chris. There we go. Excellent. Oh, he needed to feel better. Captain Chris. Yay! Excellent. Excellent. Using these binoculars, um, they have a wonderful a gold fashioned case here. Um, I looked in there from 1966, and um, these were some that I, I got um, when my mom died. So it's kind of cool using binoculars that they must have gotten when I was 10 years old. Wow, it's a long time ago. They're doing a good job too, they're fun. <laughs> This window is open and the air is so fresh and wonderful. Oh, goodness. If everything wasn't so beautiful, I'd curl up against the side and take a nap. <laughs> So we got out here in the middle of the lake and they shut the boat off, shut the engine off and uh, there's people talking now here and there but for at first everybody was silent. Total silence out here. There's nothing. No. Nope. There's nothing. <laughs> it's, it's truly uh, refreshing and truly amazing. I'm glad they shut the motor off after they shut it off. Your ears start to ring and you realize how loud it really was. <laughs> right? <laughs>
you? The guy just said that they took a lake trout out of here that was 50 pounds. They get big. Woo. now. I'm sure it'll be more gorgeous views going the other direction. We have had a wonderful day and we're both exhausted <laughs> and we're going to be going back to Edmonton tomorrow. So we're going to go back and get a bite to eat, just get some rest. We were going to go back to the hot um, springs tonight, but I think we're both a little too tired. But we thoroughly enjoyed it when we were there last night. So. side of the road. It's hard for me to show it to you, but uh, boy, would that be fun to ride. We're wondering if it goes from Canmore all the way to Banff. One Direction would be pretty uphill because Banff is the um, highest um, town. We're getting gas here at a Shell station. This is back in Canmore, and um, wow, it's only one fifteen for gas. Of course, that's per liter, and it's Canadian, so we've been really having to figure that out. But anyway, so getting all filled up so we can go tomorrow. Wow, it's been an amazing couple of days. Yeah, it really hasn't flown by. Yeah, we got here yesterday afternoon. Last night we went to the hot hot pool, hot spring. Today we went to Saint to Saint to Lake Louise and then the, the boat tour on Lake Miniwonka. Miniwonka. <laughs> that means Lake of the Spirit. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just been a fabulous, fabulous tour. We're leaving in the morning and we're gonna have a hard time leaving. Yeah. yeah. You know, this is late September. This is the best a good time to come. If you're here in July or August, it's just like uh, national parks in the States. It's just overwhelmed with people. Yeah. And everywhere we went, it was full, but we were all, almost always able to find a parking spot, you know, and mm -hmm. it was just a much better time to come. Yeah. So. And the, the leaves turning on the aspens. Yeah. Oh, it was beautiful. Yeah, they're not, the leaves aren't gonna start turning where we live for probably at least another three weeks yet, and, and here they're in full bloom. Yeah. So it was very nice. Yeah, good timing. <laughs> so, thanks for coming along, everybody. I yeah. hope you've enjoyed it. Oh, it's been, I just, I hope we can put together something amazing for you guys. Right, absolutely. <laughs> so live simple. Live free. Be blessed. We love you and we'll see you very soon. Okay. Bye-bye.